So second entry, Cecilia here. He is behind the camera, he says hi too. Uh, I'm gonna try to give you as brief of a rundown as possible of our Tiny House Foundation here, Tiny House Trailer. Uh, for those who might be interested in more reasoning why we did things, more details, or people who maybe wanna do this themselves and things to take into consideration. So uh, we decided to go with a company called Trailer Made, and uh, there's a lot of different tiny house trailer companies out there now. It can make it kind of difficult to choose which one. Um, it was between this and another one in Oregon called Iron Eagle, uh, which we went to the tiny house festival in Georgia. And of those two that we had, of we were going to go with Iron Eagle. And um, having decided that, we, we did confirm that they're a very, very good foundation option if you wanted to go with them. It's just that they're in Oregon and uh, that it's going to be like, what, a $2,000 delivery fee, something, something like, that. like that. Not so good for St. Louis. TrailerMade has a larger distribution map. Um, they have manufacturers all over the country. So um, they were able to deliver it to us for much, much lower. A small Reasonable, fraction. yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, so we, that was a huge reason why we ended up going with them, apart from their general, um, they just, other people who had built tiny homes had plenty to say about them and they were all good things. So that was really cool too. And we can attest, um, they gave us a three, so far so good, they gave us a three week lead time on manufacturing and it arrived five days after we ordered it. Confirmed it. D confirmed it, yeah. So uh, they're very fast. Um, and very efficient. So um, you can give a little bit of a breakdown if you wanna if you wanna follow me. I'll follow you anywhere. Oh, thanks, baby. <laughs> so we opted to go with a 98-inch wide trailer. So when the house is built, um, we're gonna put the bottom plate for the walls along here, and we're actually gonna drill holes into it where we're going to uh, anchor it anchor the bottom plate of the wall to the trailer. Um, so this is where it sits on either side and they can extend the width. Uh, trailer Bane was very good about like they started at 96 inches wide which I thought was very interesting because for construction purposes that means you can lay down one sheet of plywood which is eight feet wide or 96 inches and that'll create your sub floor. Now we went with 98 inches. It'll make construction a little more wonky but um, you know after taping down where our counters would go and like standing next to each other, we could not get over how two inches made a difference. Uh, so, and we didn't go with the full width, which some trailers can be a hundred inches. So then when you put your siding on, um, it's the maximum legal road width, which is 102. We decided to go with just a little under that so that when we're done, our, our house is gonna be a hundred inches wide one of that little extra breathing room but trust me those little extra inches add up um, a few inches in a tiny house means several square feet so that's why we went with 98 inches the other thing that uh, you can note about our trailer is that we went with uh, 24 feet long reason being is that trailer made specifically if you go to um, the longer your house is the longer uh, the harder it is to navigate and turn and so we didn't want to go to a triple axle. And the longest that trailer made made their specific trailers, like uh, Iron Eagle will make, a, I think, a 26 foot with, a, with still a double axle. If you go past 24, it's the, they go to a triple axle. So, um, and then Iron Eagle will go, I think, to a 26 foot on a double axle. Um, so because we decided to go with trailer made, that actually affected uh, the length of our house. Um, when we decided to go with 24 feet because we didn't want to go to a triple axle. A um, few reasons. Again, maneuverability. Going to the tiny house festival, for our needs, we found that 26 feet long, which was our original house uh, floor plan, was actually a little more than what we needed. So we were actually very comfortable in a 24 foot long house. And so that's what we ended up going with. And so uh, each one of these axles is rated for 7,000 pounds. So the total weight of our house maximum can weigh 14,000 pounds. Um, 
Now that has to include the weight of the trailer, that has to include all of our shit once it's in the house, and our, um, so the construction of the house itself, that doesn't mean your house alone can weigh 14,000 pounds, that means the house itself has to weigh like, mm, I don't know, maybe 8,000 pounds. 11. Hmm? 11 pounds. Yeah, at like the max. So, because so. it's like, because you have to include all of our stuff, and the trailer itself, I think, weighs 2,800 pounds. Um, that's another comparison uh, with Iron Eagle. Um, their trailers are a little bit lighter, um, but the biggest difference, if you look at this trailer too, they have all these cross beams here. If you go with an Iron Eagle trailer, these aren't here. They're, this, is, this pan is completely empty, and what you do is you actually build with wood these, these cross beams in this structure which will end up supporting your subfloor. Um, that saves on weight, so I know an Iron Eagle trailer I think is about 2,000 pounds of, a, of similar length and size, um, but you also, there's a little bit more building involved. Another thing with this trailer too to consider is that these cross beams, they are hollow metal tubes, whoop, meaning that um, there will be less of an issue with thermal bridging. And it's like, well, what's that? That's when the trailer gets, it's in cold weather, the trailer gets super cold, cold air, um, you know, the metal conducts it, and then you'll get cold spots in your floor, possibly warping with wood because of the severe temperature changes, etc. So, um, but from everything we were told, and uh, you know, time and construction will tell, uh, that having these be hollow uh, gives uh, some air insulation, which allows the floor to actually stay pretty warm throughout. Um, as you can see, there's a belly pan that uh, is going to keep water from splashing up. Other awesome thing about Trailer Made is that this kind of came standard with the house. So some of these belly pans, other trailers, they'll charge you extra to install. That was a difference with Iron Eagle. It wasn't a big difference, but um, this came with their trailer standard, which was great because I didn't feel like having to deal with sheet metal. <laughs> didn't really want to do that. So um, they're also pretty cool about modifications. Um, as you can see, we have here on the end of the house, this is gonna be a porch. So we have an inner wall. Uh, we have a, a, a load-bearing beam here that uh, this is gonna be the front entrance way. This is gonna be the front wall. And then all this here is gonna be a little three-foot porch, which a lot of people have argued, well, why would you why would you have a porch? Because why won't you just extend your living space? And yes, Keo? I see myself in the shit. Oh. <laughs> um, we really wanted a porch. Um, we felt that it was a communal space. Um, there was just something, I don't know, maybe it's being Midwesterners and there's something just very nostalgic about sitting on your front porch. and. Entryway. An entryway. Um, there's also the the sort of psychological concept, more or less, for of uh, transitioning from your outdoor space to your indoor space and having a porch. We felt really uh, provided that transition. And um, again, having gone to the festival, three feet seemed to be like the magic, the magic length for a home of this size. So that means the art interior is going to be about uh, 20 feet or so. Um, let's see, we also decided to go with uh, thunder flashing for extra moisture protection during Missouri's monsoon season, which is aka spring. And so what will happen is the wall will come down here, and then the side, so the wall will come up here and then the siding will come down like this. So it'll be like a little sandwich and that'll be just a little bit of extra protection for like when you're going down the road, water's flying up, etc. Another great and what we thought was an amazing selling feature of this um, of this particular trailer, and truthfully, what kind of pushed me over the edge to go with these guys was our leveling jacks. So a lot of tiny house trailers have what are called scissor jacks, um, which are designed to level, but they're not designed to bear any weight at all. These are load bearing leveling jacks, so they will be able to. They can, they, I don't remember how much weight they 
they have, but I just remember hearing the number and being like, wow, that's a lot. Uh, I'll look that up and I'll tell you guys what it is later. But that was actually a big selling point was to have jacks that would like actually help stabilize the house versus just ones that help to level it. Um, lastly, well, maybe not lastly, let's see. We have electric brakes on all of the wheels. Very important. Most tiny house trailers, that's pretty standard. I think that's a kind of a duh factor. It's a lot of weight. <laughs> so um, most tiny house trailers at this point um, uh, recognize that you know every inch counts. So headspace really counts as far as like you know like what your head clearance is. These um, we can build the subfloor right into the trailer. So that's why. So our subfloor is going to go here, and then when it's all said and done, the plywood is going to go right over the top. We also had a bump out here, um, which Trailer Made gave us at a very reasonable price um, as an addition, and that's where our utility closet is going to go. So that gave us a little bit of extra structure to build um, another space under the house. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, again, if you guys have any questions at all, um, please don't hesitate to like comment or you know, just comment and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, again, uh, there's a lot of research to be done. And, and uh, the other thing too, is if you have any, a lot more questions and you want to endure, yeah, go on a project like this yourself, uh, you know, just, just give these people a call. They, they're very passionate about what they do. They're very passionate about uh, their, about the tiny house movement. And they'll, they're, believe me, we asked them a lot of questions and they were totally cool with it, so. Oh yeah, Tiny House Foundations Northeast, Chris and Wendy in their office, they helped us. They were so patient and kind with all, with everything. Thank you guys, again, so. Anyway, um, I think that's it for now, so. Signing off. Thanks guys. So there's a lot of options for Tiny House trailers out there. I think you can- Whoa! Fucking hell, what was that? Jesus Christ. They bitch about Ron's property having too much noise. <laughs> anyway. Wanna start over? Sure. <laughs>